team, today we are diving straight in like Duncan Goodhue to the spectacular world of spring cleaning. We will be starting in the bathroom and I have a whole host of cleaning tips and tricks that will help you when it comes to your bathroom spring clean. If you are new here and you are looking for home inspiration and cleaning motivation, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button right now. Before we head into the bathroom, I will let you guys into a little secret. It's had an overhaul. So let's head into the bathroom before we begin cleaning where I want to show you guys how you can take your bathrooms from dull to indulgent on a budget. Absolutely, I'm so obsessed with this room now, I can't even tell you. Those of you that have been on the channel for a while would have known, I have slowly but surely been kind of turning the house into kind of like a monochrome theme, so like black and whites, and then in certain rooms I add like a tiny splash of colour, so in here it's predominantly black and white, and then we've got a splash of gold. In some of our other rooms we have a splash of ochre or forest green, it just depends. But that is what I have been doing in and around my home. And I just love this room so much. So let's start with the first thing that we have overhauled and that is our taps. I have wanted black taps for so long now. I just love them. I think they look modern, they look sleek, they look stylish. They give a real contemporary feel to the room and I enjoy them a great deal. These particular taps are from bathroommountain.co.uk. We got the tap for our sink and we also got um, the bath tap as well, which comes with the shower mixer. we went for are waterfall taps. They look so beautiful when they're on and they're running. Like if you ever wanted to feel like a real life Moana from Disney, then go ahead and get yourself a waterfall tap. I'm telling you, it is so nice to just relax in the evening and it's just beautiful. It just really makes my heart happy. I love it so much. The shower as well that come with these taps is super powerful. I enjoy that too because I hate it when the soap suds feel like they've not been washed out my hair properly. I just don't like it. It makes me feel gross and icky. So that is another beautiful thing that has come with these taps. Another addition that we have added in our bathroom overhaul is this here. It is the shower screen. in the shower screen we did have shower curtains and they were my biggest pet peeve. I hated them, they drove me mad. I just feel like shower curtains, when you're working with a relatively small room to begin with, what you can actually do is lose a lot of the room so it makes it feel even smaller because it breaks the room up. Just felt really, really dingy and I just hated it. So as soon as we removed the shower curtains, instantly it made the room look brighter and it also really kind of lifted the white in the room so it made it look a lot whiter than what it did when we had the shower curtain. This particular shower screen is from ukbathrooms.com and I freaking love it. The shower screen was put together by Robbie the Ranger also. It was again super simple to do, the instructions were really clear and it's nice and solid. He's put it up and it's turned out wonderfully. 
It comes with the black kind of piping down the side, which again ties in with the theme we're going for. We wanted to go for a monochrome theme, so the black and the white. So this works really, really well, just adding an extra element of black to our bathroom. It's super easy to clean as well. Stay tuned guys, because we are about to get into our cleaning routine within this bathroom. So keep watching for that. And it is it just comes up lovely. Every time I've cleaned this, it comes up like a charm. I haven't had any issue. We live in a hard water area as well. I haven't had any issue with kind of lime scale build up. And it's just been really such a dream to work with rather than my shower curtains. My shower curtains, I was constantly removing them, constantly putting them through the washing machine. And hurrah, I don't have to do that anymore. It just simplifies my life. And I'm all about that. We have also painted the skirting balls. We have changed those from white to black. The reason why we've done this is I do feel that when decorating any room, it is a really nice idea to balance your color scheme via the skirting boards. So for example, if you were painting your walls a dark color, then you could opt for a lighter color on the skirting boards. And also obviously the same applies if your walls are a lighter color. So for us, our walls are white. And I just felt that by adding the black skirting boards, it really just lifts the look and feel of the room. a non-contact bin into the bathroom it's just a small waste bin that can sit next to the toilet and it is a no touch bin i am absolutely loving that but i don't have to push down on it sienna doesn't have to manhandle it either it can just sit there you hover your hand over it's got a sensor and you can get rid of whatever you want to get rid of into the waste bin hygienically. It also ties in beautifully with the colour scheme we have gone for in the bathroom and I think it is a superb addition to our black and white bathroom. I also wanted to lift the feel of this room with lighting and something that I found was this here magnifying mirror. So this is genius because not only does it light up through a USB point, so rather than using batteries, you can actually charge it much like you would your phone, and that is how the light works. You don't have to faff around with batteries and fill it with batteries. The light it gives off is incredible, and also the fact that it's got a magnifying mirror, this is really, really useful when it comes to me doing like my skincare routine once I've got out of the shower, I just think it is a really, really nice addition to the bathroom. And it also, like I said, gives such a good lighting, like the lighting on its own, it's something that we've not had to have installed, we've not had to have electricians out. This is what makes it budget friendly. And much like our sensor bin, it also ties in wonderfully with the theme of the bathroom. Both the bin and the mirror are from Eco Home. I will add all the links in the description box for you guys, for any of you that are interested in taking a further look at those. But now let's move on to our next part. Here we have my Amazon 14 pound book holder that I got Robbie the Ranger to pin up on the wall and turn into a towel holder for me. I am freaking obsessed with this. I love how it looks. I think it is just such a simple thing to do and it has cost literally, we already had the book holder so that was like I think it was around $14.99 on Amazon but I bought that a while ago now so that was already just sitting around it didn't tend to have any of my books in it because these got moved upstairs so it was kind of just like redundant in the living room so what we decided to do was bring it upstairs mount it onto the wall there's just two tiny little screws at the back here and then I filled it obviously with a white hand towel and then a black hand towel and then I've put a couple of my fashion books on it as well and then at the top here I got this duck 
from Poundland. I loved it, but I hated the colour. So I went ahead and I got some black spray paint off of Amazon, spray painted it black, and I think it is quacking beautiful. <laughs> Another thing I wanted within our bathroom was something where I could store things but without it looking cluttered. So things like our toothbrushes, before now I had them in canisters, it worked really well in our old bathroom but I just wanted it to be a lot more simplistic and minimalistic in here. So we got these. These are from Tulip Trees. Tulle as in like a tool. I'll leave the link in the description box and they're actually just like silicon and they stick on so they're not like a permanent fixture you can whip them off when it comes to cleaning your tiles they don't fall down they're really sturdy and we just stick them up there and you can put like razors in this bit you can have toothbrushes in this section these toothbrushes I absolutely love I scoured the internet looking for black and white toothbrushes and I just couldn't find them anywhere um, so what I ended up doing was I went to the store these were 25 pence for two toothbrushes and I ordered once again from my little sticker person on Amazon some stickers and I've just wrapped them around the toothbrushes so we each know which toothbrush is whose and they've turned out really well. I really, really like them and they tie in beautifully with the theme of the bathroom. And you can also, in this top section here, and I really love this because I don't like wearing my rings um, when it comes to showering. I just think like, or washing my hands, I like to be able to take my rings off and place them somewhere. Now the dangers with doing this is Roger Stewart will tell you, I have lost more engagement rings than I care to tell you. So what they've got is a little holder at the top so you can take your rings off and you can put them there so you know they're safe, you know they're in this little compartment here and I really enjoy that a great deal. My bath tray was white, I have spray painted it black. It is so much better now. I got this particular tray off of eBay and I found, I don't know, they obviously don't put like a primer on it because it would be the grossest thing for me to clean. And since I've cleaned it up and spray painted it black, it's really good when like water goes on it, it just drops off. Whereas whatever they put on it before, it seemed to almost absorb the water and it just sat there stagnant. So I had to give this like a really good bleach wash and then spray paint it. And it's turned out really well. I really like how this looks in the bathroom. The last thing we have changed in here is obviously our towels. We used to have the navy and gold Christy towels. We have now swapped them for the white and gold Christy towels. These are just really nice to add the little touches. So obviously, like I said to you, our two kind of base colors were white and black. I then like to kind of inject a third color into each room. And in this particular room, we went with gold. So it's nice to use kind of these type of things like soft furnishings just to add the extra colour so it's not too overpowering. Now I've shown you guys our bathroom makeover, let's move on to the fun bit. It's the clean! First up on our bathroom clean, we are going to be tackling the matte black taps. Now, a lot of people get intimidated about buying matte black taps because they worry that are they hard to clean? What are they gonna look like after a certain time? But actually, when it comes to cleaning matte black taps, it could not be easier. It is true that matte black taps do not bode well with harsh chemicals. This includes things like using vinegar or even lemon juice. They don't like it. They also do not like anything abrasive. So if you wanna use a scour on them 
or you want to use some sort of harsh cleaning paste where it's got the little particles in it to add the scrub it's not going to work my friends the best thing to use when it comes to cleaning matte black taps is antibacterial dish soap okay so for the taps we're going to mix up a solution of antibacterial dish soap in an empty spray bottle and this is what we're going to use to clean our matte black taps the antibacterial element of the dish soap is going to get rid of any bacteria or germs that might be on our taps this is really important when you're doing your sink taps because this is predominantly where people hand wash and you don't want any germs on here another thing you can use which is something that I will be using moving forward. I will use the dish soap to get rid of any grease and grime, but to sanitise, I will be using my iClean Mini. This is literally just water, so it's not going to harm your taps. If you haven't got one of these already and you have got matte black taps around your home, I cannot stress enough how much this will change your life if you invest in one of these. It is an absolute godsend. You can use this for so many things. It gets rid of stains. It cleans up things really nicely. I even use this on my oven and it got rid of all the grease and grime on my oven. So you can just use this on its own as well. And you literally just fill it up with tap water. And then there's a cartridge that you get with it. And it's the cartridge that does the magic um, and makes it completely safe to use. You can get it on your skin. It doesn't harm you. And I just find this really helpful in terms of especially with cleaning my matte black taps. And it is stronger than bleach. Okay, so once you've put your dish soap into your spray bottle, just give it a little shake and fill it halfway. You don't need loads and loads in here. And then you can just go ahead and spray your taps. And we're going to be using our black microfiber cloth. So we're just literally going to rub all over it, get it nice and clean. And then you can go ahead and just rinse it off. Once you've done this, if you live in a hard water area, my best advice when it comes to eliminating lime scale buildup is dry, dry, dry. So we're now gonna go in with our white microfiber cloth. Always make sure you use cloths like this when working with matte black taps and fixtures because they're the softest thing that you can use. So you're not gonna get any scratches on them. And the best thing to do is just gently dry it off and this will prevent lime scale build up. We're gonna do exactly the same on our bath taps and on our shower as well. And again, we're just gonna gently clean it with our antibacterial dish soap and just give it a wipe over really gently with your soft microfiber cloth, rinse it off, buff it dry if you live in a hard water area with your white cloth and you're good to go. We are now going to move on to doing our tiles. For this today, I am gonna be using the Scrub Daddy Power Paste. So with this, you get a power paste and you also get a scrub mummy. So that's in the top. Hello. And then the paste is in the bottom. The first thing we need to do is wet our scrub mummy. So I have done that. I am gonna be using this side. This is the more abrasive side. This side is more like a sponge. And you literally just rub it into the paste and that will then stud up like that. And then we can go ahead and start cleaning our tiles.
bring that clean and we want our bathrooms to be completely clean, completely sterilized. I am gonna be removing the toilet seat. It is gonna soak in the bath in some bleach for a little while. If you find that your toilet seat doesn't come off, you can obviously go ahead and skip this step. I'll show you a different method when we get to it. But for now, we're gonna be soaking the toilet seat in the bath. When it comes to soaking your toilet seats in the bath, naturally, once you finish soaking it, you're gonna to need to clean the bath. So we're not gonna clean the bath just yet. That is gonna come once our toilet seat has been soaked because we're gonna to wanna to sanitize and clean it so that there's no grossness left floating in our bath. <laughs> in our bleach bath we're gonna press on and start cleaning the toilet we want this clean we want this sanitized before our toilet seat goes back on now lots of people will often say to me oh no you should use a bucket you should use this you should use that if you're working with the toilet and I'm gonna explain to you the reason that I don't I do sometimes use a bucket but if I'm doing a bleach bath for example like this I prefer to just use the bleach bath water for this reason. One, we're not wasting lots of product. Two, the toilet seat is already in the bath anyhow. We are gonna be cleaning it afterwards, we are gonna be sanitizing afterwards, so this is completely safe. I have learned lots and lots about bleach and how it works over my time from being Hayley's help, and I can assure you, when it comes to using bleach, it doesn't matter whether you're using it in your sink, your bath, your toilet, so long as you sanitise afterwards, your area will be completely germ-free and sanitised. You can look on any kind of health agency for this. Bleach is the best thing to get rid of germs and bacteria. Thus is why I don't have such a problem with things like the toilet seat being in my bath. I know a lot of people will be like, that's gross, and that is absolutely fine. We welcome your feedback. However, for me, it just isn't gross because I know that the bleach is killing the germs and bacteria. So let's press on to the toilet clean. We are gonna be predominantly using bleach for this. If you're not comfortable with using bleach, which lots of people aren't, you can go ahead and use things like antibacterial dish soap, you can use a multi-surface cleaner, you can use the flora, whatever you fancy using, go ahead and use that. I want this tutorial that we're doing to involve as many of us as possible, so go and pick your weapon. <laughs> cleaning your toilet, go ahead and put your cloth in your bleach solution in the bath because we're going to use this shortly to start scrubbing away at our toilet seat and with your bathroom gloves go ahead and pour a small amount of bleach onto them and we're just going to go ahead and clean them over, this will remove any germs or bugs that might have gone onto our gloves and then you can go ahead and rinse them off. Now you can go ahead and dry down your toilet so it's not really wet. Pay particular attention to these parts. I never used to dry my toilet because I just felt like you're adding more bacteria to it again. But what happens is these end up getting like 
going discoloured so I've started to dry it so go ahead and just take some of the moisture off and with these as well pay attention to these because these also start like turning a funny colour now we can go ahead and check on our toilet seat so this has come up really nice and clean just give it a quick wipe over with the cloth that's been soaking in your bleach solution for those of you who can't remove your toilet seats what you're going to do is the method I've just done on the toilet you're going to follow that method what you've done on the toilet but you're also going to do the same method on your toilet seat so you're going to wipe it over with your bleach solution you're then going to steam and then you're going to dry <laughs> we are now going to put to one side these will go in a 95 degree wash in the washing machine and then they will be put back in my upstairs cleaning cupboard which is for the bathroom you can also soak them in just some more bleach that is completely fine let them dry out and then you can use them over and over again now we can move on to cleaning our bathtubs so for this I am literally just going to be using our fan favourite here on the Hayley's Help channel, it is Sir Bleach. And I am also going to be using the Sponge Daddy. This is from the Style range. These are really nice because they're just grey. They're not like the really bright colours. I don't really enjoy colours in my home. So what we're going to start with is the scour inside. And I'm just going to put a small amount of neat bleach on it. And we're just going to scrub around the bathtub. If you don't want to use bleach, you can go ahead and use a multi-surface cleaner and then you can go ahead and sanitise with hydrogen peroxide afterwards. Love hydrogen peroxide, it works really well. You can also, obviously if you have one, use an eye clean mini for the whole task of cleaning the bath. This will clean and sanitise it. And if you are doing what I'm doing and just using neat bleach, please be really careful. Make sure you wear gloves. Make sure there is good ventilation within your bathroom. Make sure you don't ruin your clothes because I have ruined many of items by doing this. And once you've used the bleach and you've done the clean, make sure you rinse it off thoroughly. If you leave this on for a long period of time, it's gonna tarnish your um, silverware in the bath. and it just seems to get it up really nicely. You can also use a multi-surface cleaner. Once we have sprayed our product onto the shower screen, we're gonna go ahead and rub it in with a microfiber cloth. I'm using the black one here. <laughs> my Oxo Good Grip Squeegee. I've had this for years and it is still fighting the good fight. And my best advice to you guys when it comes to shower screens, again, especially if you live in a hard water area, 
is every time you shower, just quickly squeegee off the water. This will prevent the build up and it will just keep your shower screen looking nicer for longer. Now we have done that, it is time to move on to another hero in the bathroom. It is Rain-X. This is really, really good at repelling the water and again, it reduces the line scale build up and it also reduces the kind of dirt and grime sticking to your shower screen and your tiles. You might have noticed after we did the tiles, I would normally buff them dry. We've not done that yet because we are going to be applying Rain-X to the tiles and to the shower screen now, which means they are going to stay cleaner for longer and this is going to help with our spring cleaning guys. We don't want to keep coming back and redoing the work we've just done. and move on to a touch of wall washing. This is one of my favorite pastimes. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I feel like wall washing is hugely underrated. I love washing my walls. It just makes them feel so much brighter, so much cleaner. And this is something that you really should have on the top of your spring cleaning checklist. It will remove any dust that is lingering on the walls. You can get any sticky marks off them and it just gives your home a feel of being really nice and clean. So for this, we are using just antibacterial dish soap. You don't need anything more abrasive or stronger than that. It's just antibacterial dish soap and a soft microfiber cloth. And we're literally just gonna go over all of the walls and while we're doing the walls as well with the same cloth we can go ahead and we can swipe over our skirting boards just removing any kind of dust or any debris that might be lingering there <laughs> Cinderella the floors. For those of you that don't know the Cinderella method, it is quite simple. It is just cleaning the floors on your hands and knees. I like to do this, especially when it is spring cleaning season, because I just think it's a lot more thorough than using a mop or using different gadgets. I just find that actually doing it kind of the old fashioned way on your hands and knees, the hairnet is optional. If you want to put a hairnet in and do sing sweet nightingale, fill your boots, do it. But we're going to be doing the floor, the Cinderella method. So for this, I am going to be using this here. I'm purely using this. It's the Scrub Daddy multi-surface cleaner. I'm purely using this though because it smells absolutely delicious. And that is kind of like my final sprinkling 
in the bathroom. I want it to smell nice, I want it to have a lovely scent, and this smells a dream. that our usual Sunday vlogs are back. If you did enjoy this vlog, go ahead and smash the like button. If you are new here, go ahead and click subscribe and also click on the bell notification to be notified next time we upload a vlog. I will be back again next week, Sunday, for some more spring cleaning. So until then, my darlings, keep it clean. <laughs>